Welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the newest unit from Campfire Curriculums. Now, if you know anything about me and this channel, you know that we love using unit studies in our homeschool. We've used many of the Campfire Curriculums units and this one is probably going to be my absolute favorite. So, fun fact about me, I love dinosaurs, but the other thing that I love just as much as dinosaurs is weather. And growing up, I either wanted to be a teacher or I wanted to be a meteorologist. And it just didn't work out. The teacher in me won. And so I haven't got to be a meteorologist. But this unit from Campfire is called Through the Eyes of a Storm Chaser and Meteorologist. And as I was printing this unit, I was getting so excited. So if you're looking for a wonderful weather unit or you're doing earth science and you want to stop for a minute and marinate a little bit in weather then you might want to pick this up this is amazing so what i want to do in this video is give you a flip through and show you what it looks like because it does look a little different than some of the past ones that i flipped through on here they have tweaked it and it is amazing so you definitely want to check this out so what you need to know about Campfire, if you go to their website, campfirecurriculums.com, and you go to all their products, it's like in the drop-down box, all the products, you're going to find this. You can add it to your cart and purchase it. It's going to come to you as a PDF download because they only have PDFs. You cannot get it in print form. You could take this and have somebody print it for you, but when you get it from Campfire, it is going to come as a PDF. Um, you're going to get three levels. You have, and let me look really quick, advanced guidebook, growing guidebook, and early guidebook. And then you're also going to have a download for a core connections companion. My advice to you is to make sure when you are going to open those up. So those downloads are going to show up in your account. And when you get ready to open those up, my biggest recommendation that's going to save you a lot of trouble is please open it in Adobe. Adobe is free. You can download it on your computer. It's free. You can open it up because it's a great PDF reader. You're going to open in Adobe, and when you go to print it, you're going to go to the advanced settings of your printer, and you're going to select print as image. That's going to save you a lot of heartache if you'll do those two things. Now, if you still have trouble printing them, you can always look at their um, like help section, and there's a whole thing about printer help. You can also email them. You can ask on Campfire Crew, which is their um, Facebook group, and someone will be glad to help you. So those are just some things I want you to know. So you're going to get those downloads. And another word of advice is I would open all of them. So there are recommended ages and grades for the different guidebooks, but I like to open them all and see what they all have to offer. Because sometimes in the youngest one, the um, early guidebook, there are some fun activities that even older kids would enjoy. So just open them all and see what they have to offer and then decide, do I want to print one book that the adult reads from or do I want to print one for each of my children? You can decide how it works best for you. So we're going to do the flip through. I'm going to show you the important things that you need to read before you get started and then we'll do a really good flip through of the entire unit plus the Core Connections Companion. Okay, let's get into the flip through. Uh, through the eyes of a storm chaser and meteorologist. Now keep in mind, this is the growing um, journal here, the growing guidebook. So that's what you're gonna be looking at. And let me make sure I've got you in frame, I hope. All right, so this is something you're gonna want to read. These are the directions. It explains the guidebooks and the levels for each of them, of course, like I always say, you know your child the best, so put them where you think they should go. And then there's some more examples of how to use this, where you can find more information if you need more of an explanation. Then you're also going to have over here your options. So using it at its most basic level, the middle of the road, and if you're all in. And this says, and finally. Here's the page you're going to read about, you know, why is there not a lot of worksheets? This kind of explains that to you. And then on this side, you're going to get to see what is the Campfire Curriculum's method. So you want to read all of that. It's so important not to skip that. This is your links and sources page. I went to this last night and it's amazing. It's got the links to all the videos. That's where you're going to find your... Um, there's, okay, there's lots of things on there. There's a shopping list, there are book lists, all the links, all that kind of stuff are gonna be found here. And you'll wanna have that pulled up 
when you're doing the lesson so you can just click on the link. All right, this talks about you don't have to print it if you don't want to. This kind of explains the format of it. Here are some optional activities, quick reference. Your table of contents. So there are 12 lessons plus an appendix. This you need to read before lesson one, and it says that it's for the parents, but you can read it with your children. I think my son would enjoy it. After I looked over it, I think he would enjoy the information that's included right here. So we'll be reading that together. And then you get into your regular lessons. You have notes on the side, and then you have your lesson. So this does tell you, you can see like the skip if you want chemistry at the end of lesson two. It gives you everything you need right here. You have cool teacher moments that go along with the lesson. Here we have the blue font sidebar is just for your age group only. So this is the growing. So my son would read this to himself. We'll probably read it out loud, but he could read it to himself. And then there's the middle school bonus. And then your faith talk and your think tank. Now I've had some people ask, you know, if we use secular curriculum, can I still use this? I think if you remove the faith talk, you would be perfectly fine to use this. Don't take my word for it, but that's what I think, okay? Then you have your think tank. Here's your optional activities. They are recommended because they're a great way to learn and extend your learning, but they are optional. Do not feel like you have to do all of them. And then you have skip if you want. And as you can see, if you see this little arrow at the top, you know those are skip if you want pages. And there's a variety of ways that you can use the skip if you want pages. And then this just tells you that this page ends lesson one. You read this. I do like the stopping point that kind of just covers what you talked about that day. And you stop and you know, you'll start fresh the next day. Here's lesson two. When you see this, that's your cue or your child's cue to go outside and check the weather and record it in their weather journal, which I'll show you at the end of this video. You have some discussion, cool teacher moments. As you can see, there are a lot of middle school additions here. So if you're doing this with a middle schooler, you'll want to use those. And here's all your learning activities. And just know you don't have to wait till the end of the lesson to do them. Make it work for your family. Fit them in how you want to. You could actually use these skip if you want pages as extra lessons. Here's lesson three. This is called a different kind of day. You're gonna watch a little bit of a movie. So this has some questions to go with it. Lesson four is a missing and very important ingredient, moisture. As I was looking through this, most of the experiments are very simple. There are things that are around your house or that you could easily pick up at the Dollar Tree. So don't think you're gonna have to run out and buy a lot of expensive things. Really everything you need is like right here. Lots of fun activities. That again are optional. And then this right here, I put myself a note. This is for a picture study and the picture is absolutely beautiful, but a lot of times when you print them, you just don't get that quality, you know? So I just put to make sure I get my computer off that day and we use the computer to view the picture that goes with this um, picture study. And that's the questions you'll use for it. Lesson 5A and B. If I didn't mention, this is in a living book format, so that's very Charlotte Mason if you follow that um, philosophy, or you can look it up if you want to. It just is very pleasant to read. It's not like a textbook, so it's very enjoyable to read these. And as you can see, all the lessons are set up exactly the same way. Here's a little skip if you want game, but that would be fun. Everything printed beautifully. Um, no trouble with the images. Everything looks so good. Lesson six is all about tornadoes, which if you're from the South like we are, we're very familiar with tornadoes. Those happen quite often. I do like these pictures here. They kind of explain the, 
the vehicles that are used. Here's lesson seven. Looks like it's about lightning. I do love how this is open on the side so your child can take notes or if they use a journal or whatever, or if they narrate, those are great places to do that. Lesson nine so it says back to wind. I really like the cool teacher moments. Those are neat. Radar time is lesson 10. So many fun activities. And who doesn't love a good word search? I love word searches. Hurricanes. There's lots of videos to watch, which are really good. A lot of kids learn very well through videos. You keep seeing this Core Connections Companion when you get to the stop. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. I just wanted you to see what the whole unit has to offer. All right, so the appendix has this weather tracker and I kind of showed it really quickly when I did just a real quick flip through on the Campfire Crew Facebook page but it has this page in here that you can copy for your kids and um, they're going to use these little pieces to track the weather i printed this on avery sticker paper it's a full sheet of avery sticker paper i'll link it down below from amazon since we're always buy it and he can my son he can just cut these out and um he will glue them on this calendar so this is something you could print multiple of you could actually track the weather the entire year if you wanted to but you get the calendar and then you also get this um, weather tracker. So when you see the prompt, you would go fill this in. So I'm just gonna stick that in the back of there. And then something else that I printed um, separate, I printed these on cardstock. These were a part of the skip if you want pages, but I thought they were beautiful and I could hang them up near where we do school. So I printed them on um, just a, cardstock nothing special but i thought those looked like really neat posters so i wanted to print those and i'm just going to keep those in the front and what i love about it is it does have like the lesson at the top so i know exactly which lesson it goes with all right so let's look at core connections so core connections if you're new to campfire these are just written out really is just a courtesy they're just being very nice to add these to it these are just ways that you can incorporate your other subjects because like us, we use this as our core. So when we do this, we're not adding any other subjects in except for what's included. You do not have to do these core connections. You would be perfectly fine doing the unit exactly as it is without the core connections, but goodness gracious y'all, they're amazing. And they really make such good connections between what you're learning and the other subject areas. So this includes all core connections for elementary to high school. So let's show you this. This says that this curriculum is so flexible, it can be used as an extracurricular or the foundation of your core. So this says if you're just doing extracurricular, you can definitely skip the core connections. You might wanna skim through it just to see if there's something you wanna do, but you can skip it. If you desire to use this, you would continue. So it says they include language arts lessons. They tie to the unit topic in unique ways. And this unit's focus is on the seven elements of public speaking. Children need this. You can also incorporate more rigorous language arts lessons depending on your child. So if your child needs more, then you do more. Here is their language arts approach. You can read about it. They do recommend a separate math curriculum. Our history approach can be found on the same link above. It says they also tie in every lesson to American slash world history. So I wanted you to see this because this was something new too. So here is a quick view of what you're gonna be covering in each of the lessons. So you can definitely check that out. 
And then it says middle school and high school students will have more difficult prompts notated throughout. So here's an important note about U.S. history. You definitely want to read this page. And I'm just going to show you kind of what it looks like. So for lesson one, here's your history talking about the thermometer. Here's your spotlight on American history. And then this says, like, would you rather listen to the story? There is a link where you can listen to this story you know, if you need a break from talking or if your kids just learn better that way, there's a link to that. And then here's your all students, your middle school extension and your high school extension. So those are all wonderful. And then you have some language arts. So the seven key elements of public speaking, it's gonna walk them through that. And you have some spelling for each of the levels. And it tells you what to do with your spelling. And I printed them like this so I could have them separate for each lesson. So here's lesson two. You're gonna talk about weather prediction and then a spotlight on American history. Here's your extension for middle and high school, your language arts, your task for today, and then your spelling continued. The day a tornado saved Washington. So a spotlight on American history again. All students and your extension and you're still working on public speaking and just your planning. So there's practice exercises, all that good stuff. So this is, says, um, highly recommended lesson, even if you don't use the core connections. That's why I always say you should open up everything just to get a good look at all of it because there's so many great things. So this is the Battle of Charles Darwin and Fitzroy. So it's about weather forecasting. And then what about Darwin? Spotlight on American history. Here's your extensions. This does say to expect a different level of skill from children of different ages. And it looks like this throughout. So there's a picture study. all kinds of wonderful things. And these are some pretty tough words. I mean, you could probably use any of these to see, you know, which ones you want your kids to work on. I like spelling words in context because I think it just makes it more interesting to the children and they learn better when it's words they're using um, to talk about what they're learning. So this just goes all the way through each lesson. And it's just that simple. So again, you can use these if you want to, or you can totally ignore it. But I would definitely open it up and look at it. Just give it a good look through and see what you want to use. This time I chose to put the unit in a binder. I may regret that later because I'm not a fan of binding. I do have a binding video where I've tried a bunch of different things. I use the ProClick for a lot of things like I have here, but this one was pretty thick, so I just put it in a binder. There are so many options out there for binding, so if you want to check out my binding options, I'll put that in the description box. But anyway, um, there you go. That's the flip through. All right, I hope you enjoyed that flip through of Through the Eyes of a Storm Chaser and Meteorologist. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. This is going to be our first unit of the new school year and how I'm going to wait on all summer long, I don't know, because I'm so pumped about it and I was showing my son and he was even getting excited about it. So if you have any questions about campfire curriculums and how we use it in our home or just how to use it, period. Um, make sure you leave it down in the comments. I love talking about this. So if you need any help, let me know. Also, don't forget to join the Campfire Crew over on Facebook. There is one question you need to answer to be put into that group. So definitely do that. You're going to see tons of families that use it and they share pictures. You can ask questions. It's just a wonderful, encouraging space that you need to join. So if you like things like this, if you're interested in more campfire units, I have a playlist all about it. You can hit subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else. And as always, thank you so much for watching.